It's just over a year since Tata Motors launched the Harrier, but this SUV is already quite popular in its segment. In fact, the all-black version, or the dark edition as Tata Motors likes to call it, has proved to be really popular ever since it got launched sometime last year. And now with the BSX updated version coming in, Tata Motors is in fact taking it as an opportunity to update the entire vehicle. So you've got a lot of styling tweaks up front, the face gets more chrome now, there's a fresh set of alloy wheels, the wing mirrors outside look more aerodynamic now, the design has been revised, but more importantly, there's a huge change under the hood. And that is the fact that the 140 bhp 2 liter diesel engine now offers 170 bhp which brings it in line with the outputs of the jeep compass and the mg hector which use the exact same engine another big update of course is the inclusion of an automatic gearbox so now the harrier comes equipped with a six-speed automatic transmission as well and now let's take this suv for a little drive and find out what the changes are like Before we jump into the driver's seat, let's quickly soak in the changes for 2020 inside out. First things first, the shade of red you see here is a new addition to the color palette and I think it makes the Harrier look sportier and more appealing. The face gets a few chrome inserts now which add a sense of freshness but more importantly, the alloy wheel design is new and the new wheels look a lot better than the ones on the outgoing version. Step inside and the first thing you notice is the massive sunroof, something a lot of buyers were asking for. More importantly, the Harrier sunroof is really big and gets functionalities like anti-pinch and rain sensing and a heat-resistant film as well to keep heat at bay. In fact, Tata Motors tells us this is the biggest sunroof in the Harrier segment and it certainly makes for a more premium feel inside the cabin. The interior design and cabin layout are the same as before besides the addition of the sunroof, though it is worth noting that fit finish levels have improved considerably now which adds to the premium feel. Another important addition to the cabin is the six-way electric adjustment for the driver's seat, which certainly makes adjusting the seat a lot more convenient. Overall, this is how I feel the Harrier should have been spec from day one, but I'm glad finally Tata Motors is covering lost ground to ensure its flagship SUV feels more premium now. So with the additional 30 bhp of power on offer, the Harrier certainly feels quicker in terms of acceleration and that's irrespective of whether you're taking off from standstill or simply pressing on the accelerator pedal on the highway to overtake somebody. Tata Motors has also retained the same three driving modes as before which is Eco, City and Sport and interestingly even if you're in Eco or City and you move the drive selector lever to the left to move to manual mode, sport drive mode activate. this is what happens. You get transferred to Sport mode and of course the acceleration builds up and you can hold the revs longer in each gear before there's an upshift from the automatic transmission. Truth be told, I enjoyed driving the manual version more as it offers greater control of the 170 horses being sent to the front wheels. But what the 6-speed automatic brings to the table is convenience. It makes driving the Harrier a lot easier and I can imagine how much more comfortable the automatic would feel in bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic. The 6-speed automatic in the Harrier feels a little laid back in terms of responses, especially when it comes to shifting down, but overall, it adds heaps of convenience. What's also commendable is how well the automatic transmission hooks up to the engine, as it ensures the Harrier stays in the meat of its power band almost always, and the gearbox does not sap power unnecessarily either. Obviously, it's not as quick as a DSG, being a torque converter, but it certainly does its job well. Tata Motors tells us that as part of the 2020 update, it has also tried to improve the NVH levels of the Harrier. We're told that as part of the BS6 update, the engine has been made smoother and slightly quieter. Cabin insulation has been reworked to reduce the NVH levels. But despite that, I must say that the engine feels slightly noisy, especially when you're taking off from standstill or accelerating hard from low speeds. You can really hear the engine grunting through the cabin. But get to cruising speeds and you realize quickly that yes, the cabin is certainly quieter than before. There's lesser engine noise on the go and of course lesser vibration as well. And these updates certainly help in making longer drives better, thereby improving the Harrier's highway quotient. What's more, the redesigned and slightly smaller wing mirrors mean there's lesser wind noise at highway speeds, besides which, the new mirrors also help in reducing your blind spots while offering as good a view as before. Another important update for 2020 is the Harrier's improved ride quality. Tata Motors has retuned the suspension to make it more pliant, which results in better shock absorption abilities, thereby improving the ride at low speeds. Interestingly, this does not come at the expense of handling and despite being a large and heavy SUV, the Harrier feels confident around corners and follows its intended lines well. Overall balance between ride and handling is thus better than before, rounding off the list of updates rather well. Expectedly, the 2020 Harrier commands a bit of a premium over the outgoing BS4 version. 
Now prices for the base manual begin from 13.7 lakh X showroom, whereas the automatic retails between 16.2 lakh to 20.2 lakh X showroom that is, which is a bit on the expensive side, but for the price, you get a more premium feeling cabin, there's a large sunroof, and more importantly, you've got 30 more horses to play with, along with the convenience of an automatic transmission.